this. The purpose is not to go into the background too much of Ubuntu and what the philosophy is because you can read that in Michael's book. Uh, you can get it from the ubuntu.org.za website. It's all over the place. So let's start to, to tackle these issues one by one and, and hit this right where it's supposed to be. And I want to I wanna start with the, um, the banking side because that's something that's, that's topical at the moment. The TV commercials talk about the People's Bank. Uh, they talk about this ability to be able to fix a broken money system. Michael, just take us through this very quickly. How do you propose to do this? I mean, what is wrong with our banking system, first of all, and how are you going to propose to, to sort this problem out? Thanks, Scotty. Um, you know, before I launch into that, I just want to pick up on one little thing just to, um, uh, to maybe take this conversation into a slightly um, broader kind of area because you started this whole introduction by saying, um, using the word utopian. And, and I'll, you know, I'm finding it quite interesting because uh, a few people have called us, you know, utopian ideas and so forth. And I, and I, I get a smile on my face every time I hear that. It's as if, as if th thinking about a utopian society is a bad thing. And it, it's just amazing how poisoned we have become, how poisoned our minds and our systems and our brains and the, and the way we think about life has become. We seem to have been conditioned into believing and, and thinking that we have to suffer, we have to struggle. There is no prosperity for humanity. We have to have hard lives and live in misery and somehow just survive from month to month. And utopian ideas are something so far-fetched that we'll never attain it. Well, I believe the opposite. I believe, and this is really fundamentally what everyone that is in the Ubuntu movement globally and more than a 198 countries now, and, uh, and now in the Ubuntu party in South, uh, South Africa, I do believe that all of us firmly believe in, in the fact that people and hu living, breathing human beings should live utopian lives of abundance and not scrounge around and live in misery from month to month and week to week, just somehow surviving. So, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, again, I'm I'm happy to hear that this has now been you know this is again this is one of the primary reasons why I wanted to do this interview to you know to show people listening to this that there's a structure behind uh, uh, the Ubuntu um, you know utopian philosophy and, and Michael I agree I think I'm going to stop using the word utopian now um, you've convinced me and it's now hopefully gone out of my vocabulary.